Okay guys, so today we have a very special technique for you and also a very nice uh, shout out we're gonna do to Half Sumo Collective. The guys designed these amazing rash guards. I'm not gonna show you, Ezekiel's way better at that. Ezekiel, show the rash guard. Show it, yeah, nice, show the back, nice, show the back. Uh, they actually hand draw, they, they made this by hand, design for energy and martial arts for the United We Stand project. And in honor for them, we're gonna do a ninja choke today. So I'm really, uh, really looking forward to get into this. Ezekiel, not so much, but it's gonna be very fun. Uh, there's a few different names for this one. It could be a no arm dars or a, a farce. So that's a front dars. Uh, but it's also seen way, way, way back in Pankratos even. Uh, there's pictures of this choke. We call it the ninja choke. It looks amazing. I know it as a ninja choke. And it's a huge shout out and respect to the guys at Half Sumo. Us. Okay, we're gonna do a basic setup for the ninja choke from close guard, yeah? We're gonna work today with a figure four grip, like doing a rear naked choke. So it's also called a front naked choke, yeah? We're gonna make a figure four grip, we're gonna squeeze, so it's not gonna be a guillotine, it's gonna be uh, a variation. Sometimes they call it a power guillotine, so we've done like 10 names, let's just get to it. Ninja choke from close guard. So win close guard. And Ezekiel has his posture all the way down on me with his head here. So he keeps good control, I cannot attack his arms. I wanna push his head off yeah, to the side and get my arm underneath. So I don't get the head on the same side as my arm for a guillotine. For example, if I go for a normal guillotine, I wanna get his head on my right side. Yeah, and towards the arm I'm gonna to use to choke. So for the ninja choke, I wanna have the different angle. So I'm gonna cup his head and push and pull to that side. I'm gonna insert my arm this way, all the way, yeah? So for the guillotine, he would be in the wrong angle. So we're gonna get the setup, I'm gonna cross my legs or I'm gonna hook his legs using my legs. For now, I'm just gonna keep my guard close. We're gonna push his head to the side, go underneath and get a V grip like this on his head. I'm gonna keep control of his skull. So try to lift your head, please, like this. If I control his neck, lift your head, please. Boom, he's up. So all the way on his skull, boom, go deep. Switch my grips and get the back elbow on his head and slide towards the figure four grip. Either make a fist or put my hand all the way over to his lats. Now I'm not gonna lay down like with a guillotine and lift my hip. I'm just gonna choke him like a rear naked choke. So I'm gonna go close and squeeze for the ninja choke. Okay, one more time. So his posture is low here. Yeah. We're gonna out angle. I'm going to the right side, I'm gonna feel his head to the left side. So my strongest force here is pushing with this arm. The problem is I'm gonna need this arm to choke him. So I should pull more with this. First get initial push, as soon as his head pops to the side, I'm gonna go under with my hand. And just slide it in as deep as I can. So don't go shallow like a guillotine, go all the way in, boom, until my elbow is underneath his jaw. Keep control of his skull, boom. Yeah, cup, cup his skull. Back elbow, get the figure four grip, close, and squeeze for the basic ninja choke. Feels good, right? Yeah. So, the way of the shinobi, the basic ninja choke from close guard. Now we're gonna see some different setups and some different entries into the ninja choke. Okay, so we've seen the basic setup for the ninja choke. Now you might say, what if he doesn't have his posture down? How are you gonna get there? Are there different flows? Yes, there are. So. We're gonna do an attack sequence. For instance, we're gonna work with a Kimura or a hip bump sweep on this side. So I'm gonna go up, boom. I'm gonna go for a basic Kimura or for a basic hip bump sweep. Now, as soon as he resists, boom, or it's just my attack flow, this arm is gonna go over and I'm gonna attack a basic guillotine. So watch, now his hat is on the side of my arm. So this is no longer a ninja choke, this is gonna be a guillotine. We're gonna switch up with the ninja choke in a second. So we're gonna go up. We have different videos on our channel about the Kimura, about the hip bump sweep, yeah? So wanna go up and attack, for instance, the Kimura. Boom, up, or the hip bump sweep. I'm gonna wrap my shoulder around his neck, cup his hat, and fall down to attack the guillotine. Boom. Now we're gonna change angles a bit, yeah? Beetje naar deze kant draaien, alsjeblieft. Verder, stop. So Ezekiel is going to peel my hand off at the wrist to prevent me from connecting my hands and going for the guillotine, exactly. So we fall down, I get this initial guillotine grip, I keep my legs high or close, or close on his legs, yeah? I don't want him to make a ratsacht over him, cartwheel out, boom, or pass, yeah, terug. So I want to keep him inside my guard. So as soon as he starts to attack that wrist and pull my arm off, yeah, I'm gonna insert my other arm, boom, all the way, deep, yeah? This arm, I'm just going to retract, Close my figure four and finish up with the ninja choke. 
Okay, so we're gonna go up for the hip bump sweep, for example. We're gonna roll back for the guillotine, fall down. It's gonna work my wrist off, so my other hand is gonna go underneath. If you have trouble getting in there, make an AB or get some space, go under and grab my own bicep. Boom, get my arm out and squeeze for the ninja choke. So there's a different setup uh, that we've shown in our rubber guard video. Just gonna quickly demonstrate if you have any questions about the rubber guard, check out that video. I'll leave a description in the comments or uh, at the end of this video. I'm not gonna cover the rubber guard now, just gonna show you the finish, it's really cool. So we're in the chill dog position. So in rubber guard and we're in the chill dog position here. Yeah, Ezekiel wants to push back with his head to stop me from getting an angle for my omoplata. And as soon as I feel, go back please, as soon as I feel him pushing, I'm gonna let go of all my tension and I'm gonna cup his head and pull it to the side. So push, boom, go to this side. Cup his head, cup, elbow, and get the same ninja choke, this time from a rubber guard setup. Okay, so we're gonna look at the ninja choke from knee shield half guard. So we're in half guard, we're gonna first look at this, uh, this angle from the side and then we're gonna look at the angle from the back. So usually I like to play half guard and I hope the person postures up and keeps distance so I can start working for half butterfly, attacking his leg, inverting or upgrading my guard. But Ezekiel is a strong guy, he's leaning in, he's pushing. I'm gonna reinforce my knee shield with this arm. And usually uh, I keep this arm here to, cross his, uh, to block his cross face. And usually I'm pushing off and reinforcing my knee shield with my elbow. Yeah, this is so to prevent him from just pushing my knee down. Uh, so if I don't push my knee down, boom, I'm passing to that side or sprawling on top of me. So we're here. Now, Ezekiel, at this point, at this moment of time, is not so much concerned about this hand choking him. And that's the cool part. So I'm just gonna fake as if I'm trying to push him. The more I push, the more he might just push back. And as soon as I feel him committing and pushing back, I'm gonna drop my entire knee shield and cup his head with my second hand. I'm gonna turn my arm so that his chin falls into my elbow. So we're here. He starts pushing forward, putting pressure. I'm gonna cup his head, boom. I'm gonna shoot in, yeah? As soon as we're here, I keep control of his head. We're back to the ninja choke as we've seen in the first thing. So I wanna keep control of his head, uh, sorry, his leg. And I've got, I'm gonna shove my elbow up, controlling his head, controlling his head, get my elbow up, get my figure four, either make a fist or on the top of his back and squeeze for a very tight choke. So let's see one more time. We're in knee shield, we're blocking, we're fighting, he thinks we're defending, we're pushing. Yeah, if, I feel he's, if I feel like the pushing works, I can go up to my, to my dog fight, I can upgrade my guard. But for now, Ezekiel just wants to smash, you know? There's always that guy at the gym. As soon as he's committing, I'm gonna grab his hat, I'm gonna let him fall and trip into my trap. He's not suspecting the choke here, so he's pushing, grab his hat, let him fall down, boom, yeah? This hand goes up, I keep control of his skull, not his neck. Put your head up, please, boom. So his skull all the way here. Put your head up, please. Here, he's stuck. Keep it up, switch grips, get the elbow, get the figure four, and squeeze. Let's look at it from this angle. Knee shield half guard, posture, reinforce my knee shield, blocking his cross face, making him overcommit, yeah? Pushing in, cupping his hat, letting him trip. Switch grips, elbow in, get the figure four, squeeze. Okay, for our final setup into the ninja choke, we're gonna look at a defensive ninja choke uh, countering his single leg takedown. So, Ezekiel tries to take me down with a single leg and he puts his head on the inside, yeah? Otherwise we can start attacking the guillotine. So what I wanna do, I wanna lean in. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for the running man escape or anything today. I'm just gonna turn the angle a bit so you can see what's happening. I'm gonna insert this arm all the way in and get my elbow underneath his jaw for the ninja choke. Cut my figure four grip. And squeeze. If at this point in time, when I have my uh, grip closed, we fall down, I just control his legs in, in, a, in a form of half guard, keep on squeezing and get the submission. So it looks kind of easy. Obviously, you don't have much time because he's going to go for a takedown. So he shoots for the single leg. I immediately put some pressure, Lino, get my leg behind. I could start pushing his face off and get room to get this arm all the way inside, deep. Yeah. So you don't want to get shallow and try and get the guillotine here. I wanna go all the way down, get my elbow underneath his jaw. We can go gable grip, but we're gonna go figure four here and squeeze. If he tries to do the takedown still, just squeeze and we'll get the finish. Nice, right? Yeah. So there you have it, the final part of our half sumo 
limited edition ninja choke fancy technique. I hope you enjoy. Try out some of this stuff. Basic ninja choke from close guard, ninja choke flow from hip bump or failed kimura into guillotine peel off to ninja choke, rubber guard ninja choke, knee shield ninja choke, and finally full circle with a single leg takedown defense ninja choke. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, I want to do a huge shout out once more to the guys over at Half Sumo. They have some super cool stuff. We're not sponsored by them, not in any way. They made this for the United We Stand project. I fucking love it. Yeah, nice design, hand drawn. Guys are from the USA. Check out their website for some cool stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Us. Us.